Raspberry Pi Video Tutorial Controlling and interfacing device with the outside world using GPIO and C. In this video we creating a dancing LED. There are two main approaches to writing programs which involve the GPIO pins. One option is to directly access the GPIO register in the ARM CPU. This is not a trivial task and requires a good knowledge of programming in C and the ARM CPU. Another option is to import a library into our C program which provides easy to use functions. In this video, we'll use the latter, specifically the Wiring Pi library. Open the LX terminal. We can download the Wiring Pi library using git. If you don't have git installed, use this command to download and install it. Once downloaded, we can test Wiring Pi by building a terminal GPIO utility. First, navigate to the Wiring Pi directory. Then, execute the build file. Once the installation is complete, we can use the manual command man to understand how to use the GPIO utility. Close the LX terminal. Hardware. The required hardware components are Raspberry Pi board, 270 ohm resistors, breadboard, a LED and some connecting wires. Make the connection in the breadboard. Connect the three LED to GPIO 23, 24, and 25, and a 270 ohm on the ground of each LED. Open the LeafPad text editor. Here we are going to create our program. Copy this code. Paste here. At the start of the program, we have two include statements, the standard input and output library and the wiring pi library. The main function follows with void indicating that main has no parameters. The program then starts with a simple message being printed to the terminal. Here this program set up for the wiring pipe in number. Next we set the 4th, 5th and 6th pin to an output pin. This is the 16th, 18th and 22nd pin in the GPIO header. The remain is the for loop which blink the LED. Save this program. Open the LX terminal. We use the GCC to build the program LED.C. Making the output file LED. Now we need to include the option dash L followed by wiring pi. Run the program.